Today I'm going to try a soxlet extraction using ethanol as the solvent on this prepared hot chili powder from the grocery store. According to its label, it only contains ground chili peppers that are supposed to be hot. I'd like to see what kind of extract I get from this stuff. I've already done an extract of ghost peppers, so I'd like to see, uh, obviously this won't be anywhere near as strong as the ghost pepper stuff, but it should be interesting. Let's find out. I've taken some of the hot chili powder from the packet I showed earlier. It's now in a coffee filter in the Soxlet chamber with a cotton swab above it and another one below it for filtering. The condenser water flow is turned on and so is the heating mantle. I'm using ethanol as my solvent for this one. We'll see what kind of extract we get from hot chili powders. A few minutes has gone by since I turned on the water flow to the condenser and turned on the heating mantle. We can see the uh, hot chili powder extract is orange and it's about to siphon. As we can see, the ethanol is still clear, but it's turning orange as the first few siphoning drips come down, and now the full drain of the first cycle of the Soxlet. We're definitely extracting something today. That first cycle brought a nice orange color down into the boiling flask. This will be the second cycle of the uh, hot chili powder. And again, we have a good color to the extract. That was cycle number two. Cycle number three is just about to take place. The extract is still a good orange color, but I can see that the pack in the Soxlet chamber is starting to lose a wee bit of its color here and there. Cycle number four is about to siphon. The extract is now a slightly lighter orange in color. Here goes number four. This will be cycle number five. The cycles are taking about three minutes each to complete. The extract is slightly less orange now at number 5, and the filter pack of hot chili powder can be seen to be fading slightly in color. I will pick up the video again at siphoning cycle number 10. This is cycle number 10, just about to siphon. There it goes. The extract is a slightly fainter color, it's more of a yellow-orange now, and the hot chili powder inside my filter paper is noticeably lighter in color. I'll pick up the video again at cycle number 15. Here goes cycle number 20, siphoning out. As we can see, the extract is now a yellowish color rather than a deep orange. We can also see that the hot chili powder in the filter pack is losing a lot of its color after 20 cycles. If we look down at the boiling flask, 
we can see that uh, the color of the boiling flask is now an orange-brown as a lot has been extracted from the hot chili powder. This will be cycle number 25. As we can see, the hot chili powder is becoming quite faded in the filter paper. There goes number 25. I think I'm going to stop this at 30 cycles for time reasons only and recover at that point my ethanol by simple distillation. I'll pick up the video again at cycle number 30 where I will stop it. This will be cycle number 30 although I'm still getting a colored extract for time reasons I'm going to stop here and switch over to simple distillation even though I'm still getting a straw yellow extract realistically I could go another 20 cycles easily on this one before it would run clear but I'm going to stop it here at this point and see what we get. I've switched over now to simple distillation after 30 cycles of the Soxlet. The boiling flask that uh, was attached to the Soxlet is still in the heating mantle. It contains the extract of hot chili powders and my ethanol. I'm now going to recover my ethanol by simple distillation into this other flask over here on the right. Ethanol recovery is proceeding well and is nearly completed. I will stop recovering my ethanol when I've got the boiling flask down to 20 or 30 milliliters of contents just so that the contents will be uh, liquid and I'll be able to get my extract out. I'll pick up the video again at that point. I've turned off the heating mantle now. There's not a lot left in the bottom of the boiling flask and I need it to be liquid enough for me to be able to pour it out into something smaller so that I can deal with it and finish it off. Here's a look at the result of the extraction of uh, hot chili powder. There's still about 20 milliliters of ethanol keeping it mobile as we can see. The extract is a uh, orange-red color. It's now in a 100 milliliter beaker and the ethanol is being boiled off it until I get it down to about 10 or 15 milliliters volume. It'll be fairly thick but still liquid enough to pour out of this little beaker and into a storage bottle to be kept. It's below 20 milliliters volume now, so I should be complete in a few minutes. When I take this little beaker out of the heating mantle, I'll pick up the video again to show my finished product. Here's a look at the result of the Soxlet extraction of store-bought hot chili powders. The volume's been reduced to about 15 milliliters. As you can see, there's enough ethanol remaining that the product is still mobile in the beaker. I'll be able to pour it out into a little glass storage bottle. Thanks for watching, and as always, there'll be plenty more to come.